2012 Skyscanner Report's top destinations for 2011 were led, unsurprisingly, by Spain. Spain still reigns in uh, British travel um, preferences. You know, it's the number one destination. It has been for the last three years in Skyscanner's reports, but it's also by far the number one destination that Brits travel to. And it's bolstered by the fact that there are a million British people who live there. Next on the list was, um, again, perhaps unsurprisingly, the USA, a massive market from the UK. Uh, New York especially was very high, bolstered by the 10th anniversary of 9-11. A lot of people went over there for that. And third was the UK, so people are still travelling within Britain. The biggest surprise this year was probably Croatia, which has jumped a massive eight places into the top 20. It was previously at number 26 and has now gone in at number 18. And Croatia has been very popular this year. A lot of low cost carriers have started to fly there. Flights are now year round, which they weren't previously. So people can go in winter. It's not just a summer destination. And travel to Croatia is reported to be up by something like 17% from the British market. So that's definitely one to watch for the future. The three most popular destinations from a cities and resorts perspective are New York, Ibiza and Barcelona, all climbed three places in the report. The destination which has shown the biggest drop from a country perspective is Egypt, which has dropped out of the top 20 for the first time. People have always been put off by the Arab Spring and earlier in the year the shark attacks. To find the hidden gems for 2012, you need to look at the destinations which have shown the biggest rise in searches on Skyscanner's site. And these are in the first position, number one is Estonia, uh, bolstered by the fact that Riga was the European capital of culture this year. And also it's a fantastic place to visit. Uh, lots of things to see and do there. A very great medieval old town. I think search there was up by something like 80%. The second is actually Iraq, which although it started from a very low baseline, something like 30,000 searches. Searches are now up 75%. And Iraq is doing a lot to promote its tourism offering this year. At World Travel Market in September in London, the biggest travel exhibition in the year, they had a stand for the second year running. And they're really actively promoting, the, suggesting there's something like 18,000 fabulous sites for people to go and see if they visit. Whether people will do it or not remains to be seen, but it could be one for the future. Searches to New Zealand are actually up. It's number five in the most increased searches list, probably boosted by the Rugby World Cup. When it comes to other old favourites, I believe Greece is doing very well. It sits at number eight in the report. The Greek tourism uh, agencies have been very, very proactive in trying to get more tourists there this year. They've dropped VAT on holiday accommodation and some really punitive le levies on ferries. And that's actually reduced the overall cost of a holiday to Greece by something like 10%. New technologies such as smartphones have had a massive impact on our ability to book travel. If you look at stats, mobile access to the internet is up massively across the board. And when it comes to travel in particular, companies like Skyscanner are reporting that some 25% of access to their site now comes through a smartphone. I think social media have affected us massively when it comes to how we choose our travel destinations. Traditionally, people would ask their friends where to go on holiday and their friends would offer recommendations. Now via sites such as Facebook and Twitter, blogs, people know people virtually and they're actually accepting virtual recommendations from people that they may never have met before. I'd suggest that people should go online if they want to find out more about the most popular destinations. There are dozens of sites out there where people can go and they can get a great overview of countries and read reports on what it's like when they get there. But when it comes to booking, what people want to do is go to a site such as Skyscanner where they can book their holiday at the best price very quickly. 